take a live look here at Bourbon Street. A new Louisiana state law now requiring public schools to make sure in God we trust is not an afterthought. The legislation makes displaying the national motto in every classroom of every building mandatory. Louisiana providing additional guidelines on how the national motto is to be displayed, including size and composition. Schools can purchase the signs with public money or purchase them with donations. And with that, we'll bring in Dr. Cade Brumley, the Louisiana State Superintendent of Education. Uh, Dr. Brumley, thanks so much. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, on this topic. Absolutely. And God we trust uh, seemingly doesn't seem like it should go anywhere. Tell us about the significance of this new set legislation there in Louisiana. Yeah, look, the, the National Opinion Research Center just released a study and it said in 1998, 70% of Americans believe patriotism was very important. Uh, move forward 25 years, they just released the same report. Uh, it says about 38% of Americans think patriotism is very important. And it's even more concerning with individuals under 30, where that number's around 23%. So put that in perspective. Only about one third of Americans believe that patriotism is very important. And so our legislature uh, took action uh, and, and unanimously, essentially, uh, decided to, to place um, in God we trust in classrooms across our state. Uh, that particular bill passed 98 to 4 in our House uh, and unanimously in our Senate and was signed into effect by our governor. And so uh, moving forward, classrooms across the state of Louisiana will have uh, a sign, a poster in their, in their classrooms that says in God we trust. Well, you know what, sir? There's been some criticism for it. I got to show you this. The ACLU of Louisiana denouncing the new law. They say it's our belief that parents, not school officials, should be responsible for shaping their children's religious education. Dr. Brumley, what's your response to that? Well, first of all, it, look, the, the parent is the first teacher of the child, without a doubt. Uh, but at the same time, what, what's great about our country is we are supposed to have religious freedom uh, without persecution. We're supposed to have uh, freedom of speech. Um, look, some, some people may not like the fact that the bald eagle is the national bird, but it is. Look, this is a subtle reference to national unity. It's a subtle reference to, to what Reagan said. Freedom uh, is but one generation from extinction. And hopefully it'll cause our students to just take time, pause, uh, reflect on the values that bring us all together, the things that we have in common, and those things for which we should be very thankful. And the bill's author kind of pushing back too, arguing the legislation doesn't promote uh, one particular religion, saying, quote, it doesn't preach any particular religion at all, but it certainly does recognize a higher power. It's a positive message in this world that throws so many negative things at our children. Um, it, talk to us about that. Do you share that belief, again, of what you just heard, that statement? Yeah, look, I mean, th this particular national motto came into effect uh, after World War II, which we know was a time of extreme national unity, maybe out of necessity, but it was. Um, and when the Cold War began, uh, actually President Eisenhower signed this into law in 1956. Um, so it, it is our national motto. Uh, it is what we share as a, as a country. Um, it, it does not recognize one particular religion over another. Uh, it, it is just recognition that in God we trust is our national motto. Uh, values in this country matter, and it's an attempt by our legislature, much, much like uh, in the 50s when there needed to be patriotism to defeat communism, uh, that American values still matter in, in an exceptional country. All right. Uh, bringing back patriotism to the classroom. It's not something you hear every day in this news cycle, but Louisiana is taking a step forward and doing so. Doing so. Uh, Dr. Cade Brumley, thank you very much for your time today. Yeah, thanks for having me. You're welcome. Take care, sir. All right, for more on this, we wanted to welcome in David Harris Jr. He's an author and podcast host, and we're happy to have him throughout the course of today's show. You are listening into that conversation. What do you think about this move? Well, I think that it's a move that's necessary. I think that kids today, especially in schools, need to have a greater appreciation for the fact that this foundation of our, of our country was based on Judeo-Christian values. It is in God we trust. And while it doesn't favor one particular religion over another, uh, the statement in and of itself is a powerful statement, especially in a current society where they're trying to take God out of everything. The, the other thing that stood out to me is that the ACLU wants to say, well, uh, parents should actually be the ones that are in charge of a child's uh, you know, religious beliefs, but now let's do sexual education. Isn't the parent the one that should be in charge of what uh, their child is being uh, 
you know, educated on and, and, and spoken to when it comes to sex, well, they, they don't want that. They want to be able to talk to our kids about all the gender dysphoria stuff. David, why is it that you, you continually see uh, over the years that uh, school systems or perhaps advocates for the other side constantly do try to push God out of just about anything that you have, particularly here, again, with school children, with, with, um, with, with learning, et cetera? Well, I think that it goes back decades, Sean. I believe that there is actually a very, uh, a very real communist agenda to take over this country from within. And they have been systematically taking things out, taking God out of the equation and out of schools uh, for decades. And we're, we're literally seeing the, the result of this slow erosion of pulling God out because if they can indoctrinate our children and take God out of the equation and make government God, well, they can replace God, and then they've got a, a, a group of people, of young people that are coming out that are hating America, hating capitalism, uh, thinking that America's rotten to the core and all our founders were slave owners and, you know, bigoted people, and it couldn't be farther from the truth. This is a great country. It's the greatest country in the history of the world, and it's because of our founding. It's because of our Christian beliefs uh, that's given the most freedom to all people of all backgrounds to be able to, you know, put two shoes on and get up every day and make the best out of themselves. Uh, it's afforded that for more people than anybody else in the history of the world. And unfortunately, there's an agenda. It's a spiritual battle, I believe, Sean. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a spiritual battle that's trying to erode uh, the, the existence of a good, loving creator from our school kids. And they need to know that God is good yeah. and in him we trust. Amen. Hey, that so well said. I just Same wanted to point out, too, again. we were showing photos of uh, the dollar bill, by the way. It's on our currency. Yeah. So uh, is anyone taking issue with that? Mm. Uh, who knows? We'll wait.